Hi. Okay, today uh, my son Porter is here helping me shoot a little video for YouTube. Uh, recently I bought this cargo trailer, replaced a, a cargo van, and going back to a, a pickup and a trailer. And I wanted to make a little video um, about uh, how I designed the shelves. Nothing too fancy or special, but I looked on YouTube I didn't find uh, any good videos for ideas on how to build shelves for them. Uh, there was a couple, but uh, some guys were way extravagant with uh, all these custom shelves and compartments. So I just thought I would make one in case somebody wanted to get a few ideas uh, for their own trailer. The first thing I wanted to point out real quick is uh, this Hallmark brand trailer. I think it's a very well built trailer um, compared to some of the other cheaper ones. Um, they build a good solid door with the lock mechanism over here on the side. Um, they have the uh, the uh, bolt style latch as well as this that can lock and uh, they make it a nice trailer. Um, around the front, come around the front here for it. They make a, a wide uh, rock panel and then uh, you have clearance lights in the front. This cap comes down with a nice aluminum uh, seal piece, rain gutter for the door, clearance lights around the back. In comparison to our other trailer that we use for scouts, if you can zoom in on that port, see you look at the little narrow rock guard, there's no clearance lights on the front, the side door does not have a, a bar latch, and uh, that one's a Pace American. Um, so if you're looking for a trailer, I highly recommend the Hallmark or the Wells Cargo brand. Okay, so inside, um, open up the doors here. The very first thing I did was uh, we sealed the, the floor with a Sickens brand, Seatall, um, they call it, or it's, I believe it's SRD, it's a Sickens brand. And it's really nice, uh, uh, like a deck stain, a high quality stain. So we did that very first because the floor is going to have a lot of wear and tear on it. Next thing we did is uh, I just got some three quarter inch AC plywood which is kind of expensive but it sure makes a nice uh, material to work with for uh, making your shelves. So what I did the side walls oh and before I built the shelves the very first thing I did was uh, came in the side walls to the trailer had this little cheap quarter inch cheesy little paneling like you'd find in a mobile home or something and uh, the steel frame was coated or covered with this uh, cheap wood paneling and it didn't give any support if you were to bump a saw or a tool against it it would puncture real easy so I went ahead and uh, coped some two befores on on the flat like that to uh, make it so the the two befores would mount to the front bars of the trailer on that radius and then on the back edge I'd have a nice flat panel to put my hose hooks on. So that was the next thing I did after we stained the floor was I uh, did this and then um, I went ahead and decided to put half inch CDX plywood all the way down the length of the trailer on both sides <clears throat> come around this side port and see around the door see how I notched it up to cover up that cheap stuff so that way I can mount some hooks and stuff wherever I needed to so then next thing I did is put these uh, vertical panels you can see right here um, put the vertical panels and on the inside I fastened a vertical uh, rip down some 2 by 4s down to about an uh, inch and a half square and use those for vertical supports to mount my side panels to. And then underneath here, the back side of the shelf cleat, mounted those on. And then just built these shelves. Um, all the shelves, I used a three quarter inch router bit. You'll see right here, you can tell how I routed in the side panel for all the shelves to fit into. <clears throat> so they'd slide into those real nice. And glued everything with. Uh, adhesive and then on these little stops what I did is just use 
uh, once again some 2x4s ripped down to about 5 eighths of an inch thick by an inch and a half. There, it's flush on the bottom and then I just got my round over bit on my router and just ease that edge off. That makes a nice surface with a stopper. <clears throat> so what I'll probably end up doing is putting a, a lid here that I can lift up to kind of hold this stuff in, you know, in these compartments like for you know, uh, skill saws, uh, chalk lines, different um, sandpaper, sander, different tools that I have. Um, my table saw will go right here on this little extension. And uh, you'll see over here, I just mounted my knack box, just bolted it right through to the floor. <coughs> and uh, through, you know, with four 5 8 by 5 inch bolts. And then I can just put all my nail guns and expensive stuff in here and lock that. <clears throat> so that, uh, that'll work for that. And then up here I'll put like my transit, laser level, and different tools that I need. Um, still working out some kind of a fasten system so stuff doesn't fall off the shelf besides the stop. But uh, anyway. And then last thing is right here. Um, just used, uh, th it made this little slot for my table saw table to slide into. And then uh, right here I'll put uh, like saw blades, um, framing square, different things on that panel. And so I think it'll work out pretty good. Uh, the distance between the back of the trailer and right here is 16 inches. So I just ripped these sheets down to 16 inches. And then about a 12, you know, 14, 12, 8 uh, layout on these shelves. So, and same thing over here, 16 inches, and this is 14 inches, and then 10 inches. And then I just made this little slot like for levels, transit tripods, and uh, sledgehammer, different things, that, crowbar and stuff, just to slide into that little box. And, uh, and then I'm going to mount a shovel right here and a push broom right there on some hooks. And it should be good to go. So just thought I would make that video for anybody who needed some ideas to uh, shelf and outfit their cargo trailer for a, a good job trailer. Thank you and good luck.